Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Tegan with Solar Performance. Today we're gonna to be working on this 2022 C8 Stingray Coupe and we're gonna be installing our 91 millimeter throttle body. All right, so first things first, we're gonna come up to the front of the car and all we're gonna do is take off three covers because we gotta get access to our battery. We're gonna disconnect the negative lead on there. And once we've done that, we can go ahead and start going onto the back and disassembling. Now, when you're taking off this main plate, you do have Christmas trees on both ends right here. Just try to get under them. It's gonna be the easiest way to get this thing off. And the rest is just gonna be, it's gonna clip out just like these. So it's just gonna pop out. You just gotta pull out on those. But these you wanna pull up. Okay. Now that we got that cover off. Here's our battery and our negative lead. Um, we're gonna get a 10 mil, take that off, and it'll be disconnected. Okay, so whenever I took off the lead, you're gonna notice that there is a connection on the lead as well. What I did, I pulled it this way and just had it resting on the side of the battery just to keep it away from the lead and so we're not putting stress on that connection in there on the actual lead itself. So that's just to keep it out of the way and just so you know that it's not gonna pull up and hit that uh, you know, on the battery connector while we're on the car. All right, so now we can come back to the back of the car. We're gonna take off these covers here, that cover that holds the carpet in. There's a couple of these little hangers for the netting if you've got luggage. Um, and then we have a couple, it looks like we got four Christmas trees here. Get yourself a Christmas tree puller and then for the covers, T15 bit. Take those off real quick, just so we can get this carpet out. So when you take all these things off, what I like to do, I did the same thing on the Z06, is keep all your bolts together. I don't take them out necessarily. I just keep everything in it with the actual cover itself so that I know which exact bolts went with the right cover. Okay, so now we're gonna get these hanger covers, the little uh, hooks. There's only two of them right here. We'll get those taken out. All right, so now we're gonna come down and get our Christmas tree puller. We're gonna get these two Christmas trees that are down here. Get those guys out. And then we got the other two on our right side. This is our passenger side. Get these two guys out, don't lose them. Okay, so now we got all that stuff taken out. So we got our two Christmas trees, our covers, and those hooks for the luggage nets. Now we've got access to all this. Uh, we're gonna come back in here. We're gonna go grab our T15 screwdriver and we're gonna get all these bolts covering this cover. Make sure you keep all of these in a specific spot. There are a bunch holding onto this cover. And we're just gonna work from one side over, get all these guys out. So we got 19 of those screws. Keep those in a nice place, keep them organized so we don't lose any of them. And then now once we've got all those off, we could come in here and we can pull off that cover. And that's all you got. And now we've got access to our intakes. And as you can see on this specific car, we've got an AFE kit on it. So we're gonna have to work around getting that AFE kit off. And then I will show you how to get all that. And it should be good. All right, for, so for this specific application, we've got an AFE on this car, so we don't have the stock boxes. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna link a video to the C806 stock boxes down below. So if you guys with a stock box can go reference that to see how you can get that stock box off. We're just gonna take this off real quick. And so if you've got a stock box, go down to the link below, check that out. It's gonna be the exact same process except with twin pipes, that's all. Everything else should be pretty similar. So when I get towards the back, I'll show you everything that you gotta pull off. It's gonna be the exact same thing, you know, with the stock box. Just a little bit of a different setup here. Okay. 
And if you guys are working on this with a hot car, don't do it. Because <laughs> you'll burn yourself. So don't be like me. Okay, so even on the AFE, we still have this connection here. It's the exact same thing on your OEM. You want to get this unplugged. So we're going to pull back on that red tab. Back like so. Should be able to get that connection out just like so. And be careful with this insert for the actual connection. You do not want to drop this because it will slip out when you are pulling off your OEM intake. So make sure you have this thing secured and watch it when you're pulling out because you do not want it to come off. So even on the stock intake, we're still going to have these bolts here. They're 10 millimeters. We're going to want to take both of those out on the, on the stock box as well. So it's basically the same thing with these as well. So you want to make sure you get those out. And then if there's any of these plugs in the front, you want to pull these out. But again, reference the video that we have linked below for the OEM box. All right, so now that we got those bottom two bolts off the intake that are holding it on, on the back side over here, we're going to come up front and we're going to get this vacuum line that's connected to the coupler off. Press that in, get that out. And then we're going to go in and get a flathead. We're going to loosen up this coupler. Once we've got that loosened up, we're going to go to the actual back of the intake box. And there's some Christmas trees in there that are holding on some wires. So we're going to get those pulled out. Once we've got that done, we can pull the box back and get access to our throttle body. Okay, with some help, I got this coupler to come off. But first, what we're going to do is we're going to come back and get all the harnesses that are in here with the Christmas trees. So if you have a Christmas tree puller, it might be best. And we'll get all the ones that are lined up on the back. Once we do that, we can pull the box out and then we can unclip our map on this AFE. So on the AFE, we've got the two, we got two bolts down here. It will be just like how the OEM intake is, but they're gonna be on the opposite side. So we're gonna get these two out so we can get the box out. Okay, so now that we got those bottom screws out, we can pull this intake back just a little bit and we can get access if we have a couple of connectors up here. We got three, so we're gonna to need to get these out. What I do is I actually just slot them out, like so, and you can actually pull these, these out instead of having to actually disconnect them, so we're not even disconnecting them. So, so you see right there, should be able to pull these out. Okay, so we're gonna get this red clip pushed back on here. There we go. And on these, you're gonna to wanna to push down on this little black piece right there, right in front of it. So I'll pull it up and show you. It's for most of these connectors. That black piece right there, you're gonna to wanna to press that in, and that actually pushes up the hook right here. So on the factory intake, you have these little couplets that sit on the side. They actually rotate, and you'll see they kinda of lock into place. These are just slip-ins. So it will be the same, and again, reference the video we have it linked, just so you have a better idea if you have a stock intake. It will be easier since you've already installed them if you did it yourself. So now I have access to, not only do I have access to the MAF, but I have access to all the Christmas trees back here. We're gonna have to take off this front end coupler, the OEM one. So now we're gonna come down here, and you see on that bottom end of the coupler here, this OEM one, we're gonna get that clamp undone as well. This will allow us to actually pull off our intakes and then we can get the entire airbox cover out and get access to the throttle body. So we've still got some down here that we got to get out, some Christmas trees. So we got it. This is the other one on our passenger side. So we got two of these down here. So there's one on here and the other side like we just got previously. So now we can get our box out. Okay, so now we can get all of our stuff set aside. Keep everything nice and organized. So now that we've got all that done, we can come over here. So now that we got the box off, we can get access to our throttle body. You're gonna see there's four bolts all around the throttle body. We've got our connector and getting the connector undone is extremely simple. On the bottom of this, throttle body connector, there is another one of these. It's like we did on this one for our throttle body. It may be a little tricky because we do have a couple of pipes around here, but once we get it back, you'll feel it 
click. All right, so under here, we got a red clip. So we've already got that unplugged. So you, you can press down on it once you've got it unclipped and pull it out. And you'll see right there, it's not a red clip on these one. It's actually a gray clip. So you want to pull back on that gray clip and it will, un and it will release it. All right, so now we got access to the throttle body. We got those four bolts. It's going to be a 10 mil. I've got an extension socket on here to help me reach. So we're going to get those guys off and we're going to throw on our 91 mil. Ten two four one. Twenty twenty two stingray. All right. Now we can get our ninety one millimeter throttle body on there. All right, so now we're just gonna go back and do the opposite process. We're gonna go ahead and put our coupler back on, fit our intake on there, get everything buttoned up, and then we'll get on to the ending procedures. So once you got the air box back in, make sure you've got all your connectors back into their respective places. Christmas trees, you've got, I think you got four on the bottom. You got to put that cylinder piece in as well. Uh, it's also connected by a Christmas tree. And then also do not forget about your math sensor. You want to make sure we plug that in and it's locked into place. All your Christmas tree connections are up and you can still also, like previously stated, if you need to um, go back and reference the video, that's going to make it easier for those OEM intakes installs. So go reference that and you can see how we did that on the c 6 which is the exact same thing on the Stingray. Another thing to note, before you button everything up in the back, get in the car, plug in your battery, turn it on, make sure everything functions properly, no check engine lights, no stuttering idle, anything like that, no limp mode. So you wanna check that first before you finish up buttoning everything. So we've already done that, checked everything, did a quick idle test for I think, what, two minutes now. Um, and then we went ahead and button, buttoned up everything in the back. Now we're gonna come up to the front and remember, if you already did the test, your battery's already plugged in, if not, Come back, plug your battery in, get all your covers put back together. So we're gonna do that real quick, get our covers done, and then we're gonna go do the idle relearn. Alrighty, everything's buttoned up. We can go ahead, close everything, and go do our auto relearn. All right, so now that we got everything done, we're gonna go ahead and start it up and make sure our idle sounds good. All right, so now that we got everything done, we're gonna start our idle procedure. So we're gonna go ahead and get in the car and all you're gonna do is, for the idle sequence, we are going to do a three minute on and a three minute off three times. That's gonna help reset the idle, help the car retune itself to get that idle back to where it needs to be, like OEM. All right, so now that we're in the car, I'm gonna go ahead and start it up. And the main thing we're gonna to wanna to look at is our idle. So we wanna make sure that, that we're sitting around that 650, 700 mark. 650, you know, that's our main goal we wanna to get to. Um, and so we're just gonna watch that, make sure we got no check engine lights over here, nothing like that. We're just gonna let it idle. Remember, we're gonna watch our IP RPMs, make sure we're sitting at, you know, 650, 550. Those are our good ranges. 650 to 550 is what we wanna look at. No check engine lights, nothing like that. We're gonna let it idle for three minutes. 
And while you're doing these idle sequences, what you can do is you can rev the car up. So revving the car up, what that does is it allows the throttle bodies when they open, we can see that it's gonna return back to this normal idle stage. So we'll, we'll do one good little rev, make sure it comes back down. Perfect, that's exactly what I wanna see. And you can do little revs, little things like that, just to kind of help it, because we're just assisting it at this point. So we're gonna do this three times. You can do revs or no revs, up to you. Um, but I would recommend doing the revs, just to help see and let, let you know that it's coming back to its original idle area. So that concludes our install for the 2022 C8 Stingrays. This applies for all the 2020s and up present Stingrays for the coupes. We are planning on doing a hard top convertible install. So I'm hoping to have an E-Ray over here that's a hard top convertible and we can get that done as well for all you hard top people. Once you get your idle sequence done, you should be all good. And then we have a drive sequence. So on your instructions, you're gonna wanna go do a couple of drive cycles. Don't go out there and just get on the car. You know, you wanna do some city driving, a lot of stop and goes, stop and goes. Let the throttle body relearn, let the car relearn. You gotta give it all those different kind of situations and scenarios that you would get you know, during normal driving. One more thing, if you do have the coupe and you went and got the 95 millimeter throttle body and adapter kit, it is basically the exact same thing. So all the process of getting things out is the exact same thing for the 95. The only thing different is you have the adapter kit and the throttle body. Um, one more thing to note with the 95s is, is that if you are planning on doing that, you have to stretch the coupler. So that is one thing you gotta do, stretch that coupler and you can get that 95 fit. If you guys have any questions or concerns, please feel free to reach out to me. My name is Tegan. Uh, my email is tegan at solarengineering.com and my phone number is 251-716-8077. Any questions on installation, fitment like that, give me a shout.